Thank you very much. Good morning, members of the press. And like my colleague said a while ago, I wish you a happy new year and a safe and prosperous 2021. From the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic in St. Lucia, our party has always expressed its concern at the government's preparedness to handle this disease and its actual handling of it. The latest developments this week in relation to the COVID-19 pandemic have confirmed once again the validity of our, cons of our concerns from day one. This government of the United Workers' Party, led by this Prime Minister at this time, has not made the health care of St. Lucians its priority. The government has ignored the health care crisis which we face, and it continues to pay more attention to multi-million dollar infrastructure projects while the basic needs of our sick, the basic requirements of our hospitals, and health, and health centers have been placed on the back burner. There are five months left till June 6, 2021. The government, in its last five months of its term, and the COVID-19 pandemic, the government is in its last five months of its term. And this COVID-19 pandemic has blatantly exposed the government's handling of our health care. We continue to get mixed signals and conflicting information from the Prime Minister, the CMO, and the Minister for Health on this current situation regarding COVID-19. This demonstrates a lack of focus of the government and all of its agencies on this deadly COVID-19 pandemic. The people of St. Lucia are left even more confused. The location of the recent clusters of the virus here is pouring cold water on the government's insistence last October that the source of the community transmission that we began to witness then was the backdoor entry of St. Lucians from Martinique. The government and its surrogates also blamed the St. Lucia Labour Party on March the St. Lucia Labour Party's march on 3rd October as a source of the spread. We hear nothing of the backdoor entry now from the Prime Minister. With five months left, what is the status of the St. Jude Hospital reconstruction project? This government found a hospital almost completed, demolished its buildings, accused several people of impropriety, and to date, they have not completed the new structure. With the increase in the COVID-19 COVID cases, have there been any adjustments and changes to the arrangements at the respiratory hospital? What is the status of the dengue outbreak in St. Lucia? And what is the government doing to stem the outbreak of dengue? Is the privatization of the OKEU hospital, the Owen King EU hospital, is the private privatization of this hospital still on track and is being kept quiet? The St. Lucia Labour Party, through its leader, Honorable Philip J. Pierre, has said over and over again that we will review any plans or any arrangements for, private, for the privatization of the Owen King EU hospital. The complaints of the public about the lack of basic services at our hospitals, the unavailability of basic medicines continue. This government's actions over the last four years contributed to putting our healthcare systems in deeper crisis. The COVID-19 pandemic has just exposed the government's inadequacies. The St. Lucia Labour Party calls on the government to refocus its attention on the people of St. Lucia. The government's focus is on projects 
and multi-million dollar contracts. While our people are getting sick, the government continues to lie to us. The government continues to give us mixed signals. We are adding cases of the COVID-19, um, people who contract COVID-19. There seems to be confusion in what time people contracted it, who contracted it, where the, the cases are coming from. Information is being hidden, and we call on the government to refocus its attention on the people of St. Lucia before the situation gets worse. It's already bad. Before this COVID-19 situation gets worse, we plead with the government to refocus its attention on the health and well-being of the people of St. Lucia. Thank you.